What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. I want to share with you guys today another baseball tip that I hope can help you continue to develop and further your baseball career. Before, but before I hop into that, real quick all I ask is that if you're a new viewer and you enjoy my content, you enjoy these baseball tips, please click that subscribe button over there in that bottom right hand corner. Just know that I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Let's go ahead and jump into it. This video is for any baseball player of any level, uh, youth, you know, select, high school, college, hey, maybe even some professional guys, maybe I can speak to you too, in a sense. Uh, but this is for anybody that feels like they haven't reached their full potential, or, you know, they feel like something's holding them back and they don't, they don't know what it is. So how do you continue to develop as a player, but also as a teammate to where you could reach your full potential? Guys, if I had to give any, you know, if there was only one tip that I could give you and I had to give you any tip, this would be it. And that tip would be to learn how to be coachable at the youngest age possible. So whatever age you're, you are right now watching this video, from this moment on, learn how to be coachable. Put your pride aside and understand that you're young and you're inexperienced and you don't know as much as you think you know. Especially guys, like I mentioned, baseball is more than just a physical game and the mental game sometimes get, gets under talked about, under appreciated. We get so caught up in, in the physical of how far can I hit the ball, how hard can I throw the ball, that sometimes we forget about the little parts of the game that truly matter. Learn how to put your pride aside and be okay with somebody giving you constructive criticism or breaking breaking down your mechanics to help you learn or even just talking to you about a situation of how you could have played that better. You guys have got to learn how to be your own coach in the sense of take the information that people are giving you around you and soak it in like a sponge and learn how to process that information Know your strengths and weaknesses as a player. This is this is part of it. You gotta know who you are as a player. So you take that information in, and now you sort through it, and you figure out what works for you that you can apply to your game, and you figure out what doesn't work, and you get rid of it, you throw it away. But don't be the guy that snubs his nose at every coach or every teammate or you know a YouTube video or a professional or whatever because he thinks he knows it all. You know, your, your ego is so big because you're the best guy on your high school team or her. You know, you're on all the top, top ranked boards of best player in the nation or whatever. So don't let your ego and your pride get in the way of you being able to develop yourself from soaking in the information of people around you. And, you know, I understand it's hard to, to get yelled at or just to get criticized or to to almost be felt like you're doing something wrong when someone's trying to help you like I, I get it but you know, but the more that you can sit back and just listen and ask questions when you need to because you, you you know be okay with not understanding something be okay with asking a question there's no such thing as a stupid question the only stupid thing is not asking a question because you don't know the answer to it nobody is ever gonna get mad at you for asking a question. If they do, well then you probably need to disassociate yourself with that person because they're not helping you grow. So sit back, ab ab absorb knowledge when someone's talking, ask a question when you need to, and guys, I promise you, you will see your game develop a lot quicker because you're doing everything with a purpose. When guys are talking, listen to them. Be the guy at the front of the room, the front of the speech, or the front of the huddle with the coach. Be attentive, look them in the eyes. And when you have a question, ask a question. And ask with a purpose. Ask with intent behind it. And figure out how to learn. And guys, the thing is too, and this is why I mentioned being a teammate as part of this. Because the more that you do that, and you take the initiative to better your game, better yourself, that's gonna be infectious. And it's gonna spread to the guys around you. Because most guys don't speak up because they're too shy or they don't want to ask the wrong question and feel stupid. You know, they're they're worried about asking a stupid question. So they sit back and don't say anything. But I promise if you're the guy on the team that's that's vocal and being the leader, those guys are going to look up to you and they're going to follow suit. And now your infectious coachability 
it's gonna spread to everybody else. So if I had to stress something to you guys that's gonna help you more than anything is to be coachable. Because you do not know, just baseball is a crazy world and the amount of people you are gonna meet over the course of your career, especially once you start meeting guys that have more experience than you, guys that have done things that, that you aspire to do but you haven't done yet. If you meet a guy that's in college at a division one or professional or a big leaguer, like you guys gotta understand that that credibility, that experience holds a lot of weight. With that comes a tremendous amount of knowledge to be able to be at that level. If you come around a guy that has a lot of experience, don't be afraid to go up and make conversation with him and to ask questions. I, I can't tell you what, like the importance of like you being coachable and asking the questions and being around those guys that have higher higher credibility and experience and you act that way around them where you're attentive, attentive and you're asking them questions and wanting to get better and showing them that you want to get better and you're passionate and now you're starting to make those network connections, that alone is going to help take your career to the next level. Everyone wants to know how to get into pro ball and to how to get drafted or how to get to college. You guys got to understand the amount of politics that go into it. And just knowing the right person can take you a long ways. I can't stress the importance enough, you guys, of learning how to be coachable. Like I said, sit back, listen more than you speak, ask questions, be a leader, speak up, and do everything with a purpose. Take your cage rounds with a purpose. Take your ground balls with a purpose. Ask questions with a purpose. I just want to share that tip with you guys. If you're, you're struggling to take your game to the next level, you're struggling to learn, develop, reevaluate yourself. Take a real look in the mirror and, and see if you are truly allowing yourself to be coachable and taking in as much knowledge as you can. Or if you're snubbing your nose at it and thinking that you know everything. Other than that, you guys, like I said, if you enjoy these baseball tips, if you enjoy my content, click that subscribe button, leave this video a thumbs up. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, at CarsonLee5 and check out the brand 1% Athletics, striving to get 1% better every single day. I'll see you guys next time.